Hello everyone, let's try to look at something called weight, okay? And see how that relates to some topics that we know in math. Okay, so this right here is going to be a, um, a balancing point, like on a seesaw. And these are two people. Right now, they're standing just on either side of it, so it's balanced out. But we're going to think of it as they're standing right on that balancing point. Now, if this person moves, obviously, the seesaw is going to fall down that way. So, what we're going to do, instead of moving this person, we're going to move the balancing point. Now that's right in the middle of the two. But this one is going to move again. Notice that it moved one space. Well, I'm not going to move this one space. That's too far. I'm going to move it half of a space. It moved one. It's moving a half. Hmm. Does that look like that it's balanced? It does to me. Now I'm going to move it two spaces. Now that's obviously off balance. Does that look like it's balanced? No. That looks like it's balanced. Okay. You notice that I moved it two places. I moved the flower two places. And I had to move the balancing point, only one space. Are you seeing a pattern now? If I move this four spaces, I moved it four, and this is where the balancing point is starting off at. How far do you think I have to move this balancing point? One, two. Now let's see, there's one, two, three, four spaces to the left, one, two, three, four spaces, one, two, three, four spaces to the right. Okay, so I had to move, every time I moved the flower two spaces, I had to move the balancing point one. What if I make it a little more interesting here? Instead of having two people, what if I have four people? Now, if I move this person only one space, now, there are a lot of people on the left-hand side. So if I move that into the middle, each person weighs exactly the same amount. Let's say they're 100 pounds. So I have 100, 200, 300 pounds here. And I have 100 pounds there. Well, these 300 pounds are going to make that guy go flying. So that's not right. If it's in the middle, I'm going to say I have to move it a quarter of the way. Hmm. Okay, now, I'm going to move it three more spaces. Now, let's move this to here. I moved it another quarter, so that's two quarters, three quarters, total of four quarters. Okay, so I moved this. I moved this three spaces. It's already at one quarter, so I'm going to move it another quarter, another quarter, and another quarter. I moved it three quarters when I moved this three spaces. I moved it a total of four spaces, and it's four quarters over. Four 25-cent pieces is one dollar. Now, let's see. This is 300 
and it's one space over from the center. 300, one space over. 300 pounds. And it's one space over. On the right side, we have 100 pounds, three spaces over. Hmm. 300 times 1 is 300, and 100 times 3 is 300. That makes it balanced. Let's see if we can find a pattern here. If I move this two spaces over, I got to move this two quarters over. So it's one quarter, two quarters. Do you notice that there are one, two, three, four pieces, and I had to move that two quarters over. What do you think happens if I want to move this three places over? One, two, three. What do you think? Those of you that said three quarters are correct. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. That's now at 2.25. Okay, I was using some easy numbers here because zero was one of my numbers. Now let's make this a little bit more difficult. I'm going to bring up a new number line. Okay, so here's the new number line and we have everyone piled up on four. Now, why don't we get another person in here just to change it up a little. See if we can discover any patterns. Now, this person goes to the right one, and I'm going to have to move this. Obviously, it's going to be to the right. But what if I move it two, three, four, five? I'm going to say I move this to the right once. And let's see. We have 100, 200, 300, 400 pounds of people and it's one unit away. Is that the same as one, two, three, four units away times a 100 pound person? Does 400 equal 400? Yes. So that's balanced. What if I were to move a person twice and move two people this way? Now, I'm going to say that's still exactly the same balancing point. It started off here, and I had to move it over once. Actually, now, I'm going to say, let me correct myself. It's they're balanced, if I can get this guy. Okay, I'm just going to leave that guy right there because he doesn't want to move. They're balanced. If I move this one over one and that guy down one, it's still balanced because I have two people. Two people right here. And that's 100 pounds, but guess what? They moved, and I'm going to multiply that by zero, so they zero out. They're right on top of the fulcrum, so that's zero. This person, or these people, moved one spot, and they're 200 pounds. That's 200. 
this person moved two spots and they're 100 pounds that's 200 so these zeroed out because they're right up on top of the balance the fulcrum there and 200 is offsetting 200 is one pound people so what do I have I have here's the number two okay how many twos do I have two four six eight this is eight this is 17 okay that's just one person so what we have because I'm not going to explain the physics of it but what I have is I have eight and 17 8 plus 17 is 25. How many people do I have? I have 5 people. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So I'm going to say that the center of balancing is right here at 5. Now let's remember the example that I did a little bit before. If I move this guy one spot, I'm going to have to move one of these one. Move it one, move it one to keep it all balanced. That's right on the center, so I'm not going to move him anymore. Move this one, move it one. Move it one, move another one, move him one. Does anyone see what's going to happen? Move him one, move that one. Move it one, move him one again. Move him one, move him one. Move them one, move them one, move them one, move them one, move it one, ta-da, they all balance. So, a center of balance to finding on a set of numbers. Okay, so here's the set of numbers. We want to find the center or the balancing point of it. So let's just do 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 14 because that's how far I am away from 0. Okay, So that's 0 on the number line. All of these people are sitting over here and they're weighting that side down. So I want to know how far do I have to move that. They're weighting it down. So when I add up all these numbers, I get 36 right? 5 plus 4 is 9, 15, 22, 36. Okay, so they add up to 36. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. 36 divided by 6 is 6. That's the balancing point. If you have any questions, Feel free to contact me. I'm Mr. Bryce at the Susquehanna Valley High School in Conklin, New York.